T-Quilts and I'm here to do a haul. I have just been purchasing some things and I wasn't going to do a haul on everything because it's not all quilting related but in some kind of way it's either related to your body or stuff you can use around your home so I thought that I would go ahead and share what I have purchased with you. So I got most of these things off of Amazon and if it changes then I will let you know where I got it. But I bought two packages of the heat press ironing, baking, or craft sheets. It's like a multi-purpose sheet. I've talked about these before where I use them to press my t-shirts with. They're a whole lot cheaper. And if I have links to these pro products, I will put them down in the description box. But I got this box and it has three sheets in it. And it was very reasonable. I think it was like less than $7 for three sheets where if you're actually buying an actual quilting applique sheet, you're going to pay more for that. So I actually bought two packages because I also use these in my oven. So I ordered quite a few things from Sierra Trading Post. I actually love wearing smart wool socks and smart wool could be like lower pin wool or it can be merino wool and you can actually wear smart wool socks all year round they will not make your feet hot or cold but they're nice and cushiony and they feel really good in your shoes they have like pads in them so i bought quite a few things i always just shop out of the clearance department so i may not get all the time the colors that I want but because they're so expensive then I tend to just order whatever's in the clearance in my size so I got quite a few pair of the crew size and then this is the last pair so I got four pair of crew and then I got two pair of the same color footies because these were the only ones they had and it was very reasonably priced in the clearance section and then I guess I'll go ahead and share as well that I wanted to try their comfort at any destination it's wild aster brand of give and go panties and I have never tried anything that was like this a mesh actually underwear but I, don't, I think it's a soft mesh, not the hard kind. So let me just open it up and feel it. <laughs> yeah, it's really soft. And it's not really mesh. It just looks like it's a mesh. But it's called Give and Go. So it's kind of breathable, air wick, moisture wicking. And also with the socks, they're moisture wicking. That's why I actually purchased those. So, something crafty. I actually purchased a package of squeegees. I need to use this with cleaning off my actual cutter mat. I have the little one that came with the silhouette. And it's about half this size. And so I just wanted something a little larger that I could grab. And I think this package has five in it. And they are was around $10.00. And it is about three and a half by three inches or maybe four by three inches. That also came from Amazon. And then I ordered from Amazon as well some hair care products. <laughs> I ordered a heated gel cap. I need to do a deep conditioner and thought that I would use this. So let me open it real quick. It's actually gel. I do have like a electronic hair dryer and I don't have the patience or the time to sit under a hair dryer when I got so many things running through my head that I need to do. So I thought this one would work very well because it's gel filled in this kind of quilted bonnet. And you put this in the microwave and then you just put it on your head you put the conditioner or, or hot oil treatment in your hair 
and then you put this a cap underneath a plastic cap and then you put this on top and you leave this on for 10 minutes and so with that I also bought the Mealy Babusa and mint deep conditioner thought I would try that I've never tried it before so those are new products for me and then I have a company that I do order hair care supply from it's called Ansley Beauty Supply and it's actually out of Birmingham Missouri so another online purchase and I ordered three things from them I ordered cleansing cream from Care Care they have a natural textures uh, section in their brand and so I do I haven't used their cleansing cream but I have used some of their other products that I really like and one of those is their leave-in conditioner is very good and I also use their twist and define gel and their shea butter moisturizer but I already have those and then I also ordered hair milk which is just like a another shea based moisturizer for your hair so I ordered those three things from Ansley Beauty Supply and they had a sale on all Care Care products those are all eight ounce bottles and then they sent me for free with my order they tend to always put some kind of sample in your purchase and they sent me three of these curling jellies coral and curl definer for your hair by as i am i've never used that brand before or so i haven't used their product so i don't really do like wash and goes which i think is what this is but i will see if i can do something different with it now we're back to quilting or crafting things i actually had one of these spellbounders tool in one and you actually use it when you're die cutting and you have intricate areas that have uh, papers in it when you're using car making and you can use this to get all of the things out of your die and it's called the tool in one because it comes with additional tools <laughs> it's been a while since I've done this and I know you can store your tools in here so it has this little spatula thing that's also one of the gadgets that you can put into the handle to store your extra pieces and as I said I already had one of these but I broke it and I missed it so I ordered a new one so I guess I loosen it and then pull it out here so yes so you loosen it and then pull it out and then you can put in as much as you want or leave out as much as you want I like to put it all the way in because I'm so heavy-handed I tend to break things so I put it all the way in so I bought that one and because I broke the other one I will be keeping <laughs> the pieces so that I can use them but I got so tired of when I was doing mass car production of using the little piece that just this part here I was holding in my hand so I bought another one of those and then because I bought, broke it, I also bought another one as a backup. It was the Sizzix brand. And it's just a dye brush, but it also has a mat included. So let's see if we can open this one. So it even has a, a, a mat that you can use for stamping or cleaning out your die boards on as well so whenever I want to use different tools on here then I could use this brush instead of using the one that's broken so just more options and all of this came from amazon.com I will leave links down in the description box for you let me just slide this over so the next thing that I purchased came from Linda's Electric Quilter and I actually purchased her circles and let me see what she actually calls them. 
They were $28 for this, and they're called the Crosshatch Circle Templates. And what it is is a series of circles, and I'd have to pull the brown off so that they'll be clear. But they range in various sizes. So there's six of them here, and they go from like a half inch all the way up to one and three fourths inch and then remember that your hopper foot also adds on an inch and so what you do where this rubber band is through the slit you actually put this onto your hopper foot and then you can use this circle base on the edge of a ruler you can also what i like it for is if you already have circle rulers and you want a bigger size then you can put these on and make your previous circle rulers bigger so that's why i like this because i think i have a set of circles and they're only six inches and so this would be really cool to in a quick way to make my circle templates bigger and then the last thing that i actually purchased is another weird item <laughs> two of this so i'm just going to move one out it's actually a gaming mouse pad and actually you can use it so that you don't have to have a regular size mouse pad and I thought this would be really cool to put on my work desk and then I can just work right on top of these and then I can also have my mouse have a place that the mouse can go without me having the little small mouse pads. Now I purchased this and I want to say it was about $15 a mat and if I'm mistaken I'll correct it but I am not happy with the print. The print isn't good everywhere. And I do see some typos as well. So um, if you're just wanting to know general areas of where something is on your desk, it's a nice little map. And you can dream about your vacations and where you want to go. But it is not... Um, it's not the best map I've ever seen. But I did get two of these. I got one for my work desk in my long arm room and then one for my actual card making area where I do use my silhouette for cutting and I have to use my laptop in that room so I have a place for my mouse pad. So I got two of those. And then I this is not something that I purchased, but Francesca when I did her quilt studio tour she had these African prints that she didn't know what to do with. So she just gave them to me. And it is four fat quarters. And one of them is a duplicate. So these two are the same. But it's four fat quarters. So thank you, Francesca, for that. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye, everybody.